Hello everybody and welcome to this macroeconomic video on the balance of payments. So firstly, in the top left we have our information section. Now the first thing you need to know is that a current account is where all payments are recorded. So where the payment of money and wealth and value into is recorded and where the payment of money, wealth and value out of is recorded. So a great example would be your personal bank account, your personal current account. This is where money is recorded going into and where money is recorded going out of. So therefore, if a current account is where payments are recorded, then a national current account is where payments for everything in the British economy is recorded. So this doesn't just include government spending, it also includes the money moving into and out of the whole British economy. So this includes businesses, it includes individuals, it includes consumers, it includes families, it includes firms, it includes industry, it includes everything. So a national current account is where the payments for all firms and individuals in the British economy are recorded. It doesn't just include government spending. And on to our next section, these, this, these two words imports and exports should be changed to inputs and outputs. So this section is, is all about inputs into the current account, the national current account, and outputs from the national current account. So an input into the national current account is obviously money moving into the national current account, money or wealth or value moving into it. And this is obviously positive because you've got wealth moving into the British economy. So you've got money being injected into the national circular flow of income, if you remember our circular flow of income. And an output is just the opposite. It is money leaving the national current account. It is money being withdrawn from the British national circular flow of income, money leaving the economy. And these inputs and outputs can be either visible or invisible. So this wealth or value moving into input or out of output the current account can either be visible wealth, such as a good. So for example, TVs, they have value. They can move into the economy and out of the economy. So, they, so the wealth of that TV can be, or the value of that TV can be moving into the economy and out of the economy. Or invisibles. So an example of an invisible would be a service. For example, tutoring. So a teacher teaching a student. And this cannot physically be seen. It cannot physically be packaged up and have a label put on it. But it still has value and wealth because the student will pay the teacher. Next, we move on to surplus and deficit. And surplus is when there is more money moving into the current account than there is money moving out of it. So inputs into the current account are greater than outputs leaving it. And this is a surplus. And surplus is being in the black. It's good. You've got extra money coming in. You're building up more and more and more money. And in terms of trade, so in terms of exports and imports, it means more is being exported than is being imported. Because if you're exporting goods, you're selling them to other countries, so you're getting more money back. And when you import goods, you buy goods off other countries, so you give them your money. You, you are, you are get, getting money to leave the British economy. So for a surplus to occur, you need more exports, where money is coming in because other countries are giving you money, than imports, where you are giving other countries money. So a surplus is where there are greater inputs than outputs, and this means extra money is built up. And in terms of trade, it means more money is more, there are more exports than there are imports. Next, we have deficit. And deficit is the opposite of surplus. So deficit is when more money is being moved out of the current account than is being moved into it. So there are more outputs from the current account than inputs into it. And this is being in the red, where you're losing money all the time. And it's the opposite in terms of trade. So a trade deficit is when we have more imports, so more money leaving the country because we are buying other people, other countries' goods, we're giving the other countries our money, than exports, where we sell our goods and they give them, they give their money to us. So a deficit is when there are more outputs than inputs, more money's leaving than coming in. So therefore we're in the red, we're losing more and more money. And in terms of trade, this is where there are more inputs, imports, us giving money to other countries than exports, other countries giving money to us.